Hello everybody, my name's Darren and welcome back to the Kilowatt Challenge with my first ever unboxing video. Today we're going to unbox a Victron MultiPlus 2 48 volt 5000 VA 70 amp inverter stroke charger. Come on. And here it is. I can tell you. It's an absolute beast and it's so heavy. It must be, well, it's probably 20 kilograms, maybe even more, maybe 25 kilograms. There'll be weight, there'll be a weight on it somewhere. Oh, that's quite a lift. Now, I've got three of these because on my installation in this house, I'm three phase. These are possibly, probably, likely to be the best inverters on the market. That's my opinion. Uh, they're certainly one of the most expensive and they're certainly uh, one of the most versatile. These are becoming um, more and more and more popular with the ESS um, um, configuration of domestic solar installations. That means st energy storage systems. <clears throat> the, the Victron um, platform the collection of all of um, the Victron equipment is particularly suited to that requirement. It's particularly well designed to store energy on site and then use it um, in the evening at night when the solar panels are no longer uh, producing energy. <clears throat> now the good thing with these is you can use these to charge your batteries up overnight when the electric cost is at its lowest uh, and then use it um, from battery through the day. Um, so you don't actually need solar panels with these. These are inverters and chargers. These are nothing to do with solar at all. They are however part of, typically part of, a solar installation for telecommunications industry, for marine industry, for a domestic installation such as this, for a factory, for a power farm, for a power plant, for off-grid storage, for um, phase balancing, for anything you want. The beauty with these is they all, all the different boxes do one job very, very well. You'll see as my system grows, it's not just a one box solution. With Victron, you know exactly what you're getting. Everything's built to the highest possible standard and everything works particularly well. Anyway, that's enough waffling. Let's get it open. Okay, knife, 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 knife. Where's my knife? Where's my knife? Okay, to get into the box, remember it's very heavy, you're going to need to remove these brass clips, which you can see here and here, and you're going to need to cut the tape across here. Now, let's see if we can get these out. These are a little bit difficult to remove. I'm sure there's a correct way to do this, and what I'm showing you is not the correct way. There you are, there's one. These little clip things, I'm sure you've seen these before. It's not a very good angle, is it? There. They just um, make absolutely sure that the lid is kept permanently closed. And it's very strong, reassuringly strong, in fact. And there's the other one. Okay. And then cut the tape. And let's see what we got. Very well packaged. Very well packaged. It's just all foam. Let's just put that like that. There we go. You're going to want me to lift this out, aren't you? <laughs> okay, one piece of foam. <clears throat> There's the multiplus two. There's a bag here. Uh, okay, <clears throat> let's have a look at this bag, bag first. Before we carry on, pull that, pull, that back, pull that back over. Right, what's in this bag? Wall bracket, obviously for going on the wall to hang the inverter charger. Uh, this is, I believe, a temperature sensor. 
uh, which you connect to the battery array. I do believe that's the case. <clears throat> we have another package with some stainless steel. They look like marine grade screws. There's one, two, three, four, five in there. We have a little bit of information. Yeah, sales blurb. Let's have a look. Yeah, there we go. Just an advert for other components which are compatible with this particular uh, device. Uh, what else do we have? <clears throat> oh, that's good. Quick installation guide. This tells you what you need. I don't know if you can see that. Information on the back as well. That's nice and handy. Stickers, everyone likes stickers. These are safety stickers in different languages, which is good. And then a big chunky manual. Um, <clears throat> languages, English, um, Dutch, French, German, Finnish, Swedish, and a language called appendix. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> So that's that lot. Let's put these over here. Get them out of the way. <coughs> I'll show you the actual inverter. Now, this is going to be really difficult for me to get out. I'm going to have to think there's nothing else in the sides. There's foam underneath. I can feel that. I think I'm going to have to perhaps lift it up. It seems to be heavy on, yeah, it's heavy up the top side. The top is much heavier than the bottom, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try and lift the top out. This is going to be fun. I might even need to pause the video for a moment. <laughs> See, oh, 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 ah, okay, that pulls out. Does this one pull out? Yes, it does. It's quite handy. These are the, uh, the holes for the handles on the side of the box. You can see there. They line up <clears throat> nicely. Right, I might actually be able to get my fingers down in here to lift this end up. Oh, goodness me, that is really, really, really heavy. Okay. Yeah, the bags are going to run. Right, how am I going to get this out of here? The bench is very high. Let's take off the plastic. Ooh, look at it, look at it. <laughs> I take that off. Of course, the obligatory silica gel. I might be able to somehow pivot this around. Hmm. I might stop the camera for a moment. <laughs> I want to lift it out, but it's honestly so heavy. It's making me rather nervous. If I move this over here, what a mission this is. Um, and then if I put, put, put the box here, and I can use these, yeah, I'll use these to rest it on, and then I can move it into position. Okay, there's an air vent. There's an air vent at the top here, which I don't think it's designed to be a handle, but at the top here, you can't even see it. Um, I should be able to pick it up using that. Don't drop it, don't drop it, don't drop it, don't drop it. Oh, there we go. Right, get rid of the box. Look at this beauty. Can just move it? There we go. There it is. My goodness me, it's heavy. It's really, really heavy. Right, let me move the camera and then we'll take this off so we can have a look at the connections inside. Okay, so the first thing that will strike you when you get up close to it is the build quality is exceptional. It's really, really good. All the panels line up correctly, all the stickers are straight. It's reassuringly heavy, as I've said, repeatedly. Um, you have, for all of the cable um, entry points here, we've got uh, rubber glands, um, <clears throat> which is a nice nice to see. It's the great, that uh, the afterthought of, um, 
It's not obviously it's not IP rated. This is a vent here, but it just keeps everything clean, tidy, well organized. Uh, screws, even the screws are really good quality as well. Not going to be able to see that, but it just they're not cheap, you know. It's always a little telltale sign with these things when the screws are cheap or when they're coated. These look to be stainless, uh, marine grade stainless. We'll take this one off as well. Right, how does this come off? Oh, oh, it's very easy. It's very easy. Oh, look at that. Look at that. So, in here we have the positive and negative terminals for the battery. Um, looks like an M8 connection. Uh, reassuringly large and again, very well manufactured. You can see also that it's so obvious which is positive and which is negative. You're just not going to make a mistake there. The cable entry glands are um, perfectly lined up so that I'm really confident my 70mm cable will um, uh, will go um, through there and will sit nice and snug in there as well. The switch is obviously here. The switch has got um, three positions. The centre position is off. Um, you've got position number one and position number two. Um, and position number one, I believe, is charger only. No, cancel that. Read the manual. <laughs> Can't remember the two modes. I haven't spent that much time looking at it yet. Um, in this section here, um, you, we've got um, a, a number of interfaces which um, can be used to control external devices depending on the state of the either the inverter or another component. The inverter uses um, uh, and communicates with the Venus OS, which is Victron's um, um, operating system, which is um, uh, used across all the devices. You typically need a GX device, either the Serbo GX, or you can have the Multiplus Plus GX, um, which acts as the brains for the whole system. And the uh, the Venus OX, uh, OS can trigger or open and close these contacts. So, for example, if you want to use a generator, um, if you want to have different sensors, voltage sensors, temperature sensors, that sort of stuff, they all go into here. And these actually just, if I can... There we go. These actually just pull off. Um, and they're simple flat blade screw terminals. Um, they are keyed, so you can't put it in the wrong way around, which is nice. And also, the two connectors, are uh, they have a different number of connections. So not only are they keyed for polarity, but they're also... Well, I guess you could plug that on there, but you certainly can't plug this one into this slot, that's for sure. Let's put them back. I want you can see on here the um, interface names as well. Reassuringly clicky when you plug them back in as well. <clears throat> uh, current sensor. These two what look like Ethernet sockets down here, if you can see those. Let me get a little bit more light for you. Maybe that'll... Yeah, how's that? Is that too much? Sorry if that's too much. Um, these two Ethernet um, sockets here are for the uh, VE bus, which is the, the communications bus um, which all of the Victron devices use. Uh, and you basically daisy chain all the devices together in a, um, in a network with a terminator at the end. Um, this one down here uh, is to control, uh, to remote control the device. Um, and at the bottom, we've got an auxiliary relay. Again, treat that as I/O. Treat that as the ability to be able to um, to trigger an external device. Now we're getting onto the main connections. Uh, AC in. This is the side which connects to the grid, and this is where the um, uh, the inverter can either feed into uh, or can uh, charge from on the AC inside. And here we have the AC out one and AC out two. AC out one is connected to um, both the grid and to the battery under normal operating conditions. When the grid fails or is turned off or your shore power is removed, then AC one remains connected. It's not the same with AC two. AC two disconnects um, when the uh, mains supply on AC one uh, is gone. So if the grid goes down or if your shore power is disconnected, the AC2 connection uh, uh, port will actually disable. 
This is really handy in domestic energy storage when you want to run things like a hot water heater or a car charger or something which you don't, it's not that important, so you don't want to run it all the time and you don't want it to run if you've gone into let's say an emergency status whereby the grid has gone down. You don't want to drain your batteries heating water that you're not going to use anyway. You would connect that onto AC2. Inside here you can also see these uh, posts, these screw down posts. These are for the cable clamps on the other side of the cable glands. <clears throat> All of the mains connections, one, two, three and four, have got these very chunky cable um, clamps there as well. There's also a screw terminal here, which is for the chassis earth, um, <clears throat> which again is um, reassuringly large, reassuringly large, and that's a separate earth. Um, compared to the three earths uh, which you see on the on the on the AC connections uh, on the top here <clears throat> for the LEDs we've got mains on we've got bulk charging absorption and float when the charger uh, operation is working normally and then we also have on here the inverter uh, with some basic basic indications when the inverter is on if it's experiencing an overload if the batteries are low and there's also a temperature light there as well to tell you what's going on so there we have it. This is the Victron MultiPlus 2 48 volt 5000 VA 70 amp inverter. Top of its class, top of the range, and perfect for DIY power walls. That's eBay. So, whilst we're putting the cover back on as well, let me tell you a little bit about one or two of the key features which made me choose these uh, Victron inverters. Uh, they have, first of all, they can be daisy chained together to work in three phase configuration. Hello, I'm up here or down here. <laughs> um, they can be daisy chained together to, to work in either uh, single phase on their own or three phase uh, operation. They can also be configured in parallel if you want to increase the, uh, the output, uh, the, the, the power. Um, <clears throat> But and a lot of inverters, a lot of inverters can do that uh, nowadays. However, this this particular inverter um, has not only phase balancing when they're operating in a three phase configuration, but it also has a power assist feature, which means <clears throat> if you are draw if you have a, a mains supply which cannot uh, cannot support the demand that you're currently asking, then the inverter can assist, can power assist your load on the inverter using a, a, the battery. Um, so for example, let's say you've got a two, kilo, a two kilowatt generator providing um, AC supply into your plant, but you've got a four kilowatt demand, uh, for example, you're charging a car, then the power assist feature in these inverters can actually top up the power which is going to your load by using the battery storage uh, in combination with the grid supply which is currently um, do, uh, we're currently doing. Now <clears throat> also when you have these configured um, um, in such a way that your house is using the AC1 um, connection which mine will be um, then you and your the total load for your entire property is connected to AC1 then the um, you don't need an energy meter anymore to be able to see in real time whether you're using energy or not using energy. The, 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 the Victron systems, the, the Venus OS knows how much energy you're using and it can, it can compensate for the different phases using different amounts of energies, uh, energy as well. Very, very, very clever. Okay, now I'm gonna try and figure out how to put it back in the box. Tell you what, let me do this off camera and I'll come back and say goodbye. So there we have it, hope you enjoyed it. Uh, please do watch my other unboxing videos, I've got quite a lot of Victron stuff. Don't forget to like, subscribe and all of that YouTube stuff and I will see you on the next one. Thank you very much indeed, goodbye, goodbye, goodbye.